when I formulated the new color shiny lobster, um, I explicitly thought about um, those clients that want really nice, luminous and very fresh results. Um, the pigments, the raw materials I put into shiny lobster is cold, reddish, pinky colors and mixed with orange. So we have both. We have the warm um, compounds and we have quite cool compounds. And both in a, in a very nice coral mix, so you will find it in the pigmentology um, under neutral colors. Now this is the, the most luminous neutral color um, that we offer right now and from now on. And it's, it's beautiful if you use it on very light lips, so you get this kind of freshness and this kind of this kind of young and, and fresh results, but also clients that want to go back to a lip color that reminds you of, of young children in the age of 10, 12 years, they have this kind of pure and innocent lip color, fresh and, and really, really young. There's no spots, no scars, and this is the color you can achieve that. If you use this color on colder based uh, lips, then it will still remain cool, but not pinky. So you can, you can really play with this color fabulously. The cooler the natural skin tone is, the more orange you should be adding to then achieve again the neutral, uh, the neutral results. And um, our friend um, from Australia, Georgie, was helping me in the research and in the development of this color. And now we're offering these kind of star boxes. And um, so Georgie has decided to take this color into her Starbucks because she loves it. So in, uh, in the time of development, she has worked with this color very, very often as I did. And so we, we kind of shifted a little bit more to the orange. We played with the color until she was really completely happy and satisfied. And now you can work with this color as well. It's now on the market. We put it out now and you can find it in Georgie's Starbucks together with another new color, with a powder blue. And the powder black. Powder black is also one of the three new colors that we just launched. And from the from the inkies, you will not be able um, to see the difference to the black beauty or to all kinds of other blacks because the inky still is carbon black. But it took us four years to develop this kind of black pigment that does not reflect so much blue light because we have changed the surface of this pigment so that this black has not a uh, very strong tendency to go to the bluish. So it's perfect for those clients who do not like these bluish eyeliners. It's perfect for powdered eyeliners if you want to put a little bit of powder outside and I love it also to use it when I do powdered eyebrows. Especially on those clients when they, when they like the eyebrows quite dark our brown pigments like hot chocolate, ebony queen, are not so super dark when we use the powder technique. So if you add two or three drops of powder black into those dark brown colors, the color really changes a lot to more and more darkness, but it will not change so much into the blue. And this is why we have created, and this is why I'm very, very proud of this new black. And our friend Georgie from Australia, she helped me in the development as well. This is why you will find the black also in the new Starbucks um, of Debbie from Australia. So inside here you will have the new lobster and the new powder black. I'm sure you